Hi, welcome to 9 to 42. I'm Andy Hillier, and today I'm going to take you through my five favourite starter electric guitars. 9 to 42. <laughs> So if you're thinking about buying your first electric guitar, uh, here's five guitars that are worth looking through. Um, before we go into what guitars I recommend, first of all, if you're buying for your son or daughter and they're quite small, don't go and buy a three quarter size guitar. Um, I've never played a three quarter size guitar that's any good or even half size. They're normally pretty rubbish, so you're better off getting a full size guitar. If it's an electric guitar, generally it's gonna be quite small, so uh, reasonably manageable even for like this kind of seven year old around that sort of age uh, and up. So first thing is to get a full size guitar on an electric guitar. Um, it's a bit different if you're on a, um, a classical type guitar, but yeah, so that's my first little tip. Okay, so let's get on to the guitars that I recommend. Um, normally people do it in reverse and choose their favorite guitar at the end, um, but I'm gonna do it uh, the other way around. So I'm gonna start with the guitar that I recommend as my favorite starter guitar. Um, and it is the Yamaha Pacifica 112V. Um, they do do a 012, uh, but I don't really recommend that. Um, the tuners on it are nowhere near as good, uh, and the pickups aren't as good. Um, if you don't know what those are, don't worry too much. But uh, so, yeah, the, the 112V uh, by Yamaha, it's a great guitar. The price is around £238 English sterling. Uh, I'm in the UK, so they're the prices that I'm, I'm sort of going on. Um, it's just a really solid guitar, uh, and I'm a complete guitar snob, and I've, I'm fortunate enough to have like quite a few nice guitars, uh, and yet I still take my Yamaha Pacifica around. Uh, I teach with it. I play it every day. It's a great guitar, really solid feels great straight straight away. Um, I can't recommend it highly enough. Okay, on to number two, um, uh, and it's the Squire Affinity Stratocaster or Telecaster. I'm kind of cheating there, so it's one guitar, but there, actually there's two guitars for my second spot. So either the Stratocaster or the Telecaster, it, it kind of depends on what you prefer. Shape-wise, the Stratocaster is a slightly more comfortable shape, um, but the Telecasters are cool. Um, so it kind of depends on what you like the look of. Um, Sound-wise, uh, the Telecaster's perhaps a bit warmer, a bit fuller sounding uh, than the Stratocaster, but nothing major, and it's not really gonna make a massive difference when you're starting out. Um, so it's a Squire Affinity Strat. Prices of those, um, I saw in my local shop, um, Coda Music in Stevenage. Um, they're about £160 uh, sterling. Uh, so a bit cheaper than the Yamaha Pacifica, um, but still a great guitar. It's just a classic guitar. Both of those guitars are both classic guitars. The nice thing is you can get like a fat strat as well, which has a, a humbucker in the bridge. So if you want more rockier sounds, um, go for the fat strat, um, which Incidentally, the, the uh, Yamaha Pacifica has also got humbucker in the bridge. So it's also great for like rocky sounds. Um, so that's the Squire. If you want to spend a bit more money uh, than £160, the next step up in the Squire range is the Standard. And they've got a Standard Telecaster and they've got a Standard Stratocaster. Uh, and they retail about two, well, not retail, but they sort of sell for around 254 So the price point's going up a bit. Um, but very good guitars. Okay, so my third option. Uh, if money's a bit of a problem and you're on a tight budget, um, I recommend the Harley Benton ST20. Um, the only place you can get this from is Toman, um, which is uh, a German, it's like the biggest European guitar shop, superstore type place. Um, it's in Germany, but they deliver to the UK. I've actually used them loads of times in ordering stuff. Fantastic service, um, never a problem. If anything needs to go back, that's not a problem either. Um, so yeah, the Harley Benton ST20. Now, it's about 70 pounds, which is ridiculously cheap. It's a very good guitar um, for the money. Uh, one of my schools ordered in, uh, like I think about five or six of them. Um, and I was like, oh, 
cheap guitar. It's going to be rubbish. Uh, and actually, I was I was really impressed of the quality of the guitar. Uh, they're not going to be anywhere near as good as the Yamaha Pacifica, for instance. But you're paying like less than half the money, uh, and it will do the job. Uh, my fourth option. Uh, I went for something a little bit different, um, and it's the Ibanez GRG140. Um, it's a great guitar. Um, it's it looks like the Andy Timmons. If anyone, you know, if you're starting out, you probably don't know who Andy Timmons is, but it's a famous guitarist, um, and he plays a uh, Ibanez guitar that's a bit like that. Um, so if you're something that look you so so if you're after something that looks great. A um, bit more rocky, bit heavier, um, kind of sounding. Um, then I, yeah, I highly recommend that Ibanez. It, it just looks cool as well. That retails about 180 pounds. Okay, on to my last one, my fifth one, uh, and it's for a Gibson type guitar, um, and I'd go for the Epiphone SG G400. Um, the price points. Uh, I think around £250. Uh, so it's not a cheap guitar. Um, Epiphone do make cheaper guitars, but all the cheaper ones um, tend to be a bit rubbish, I find, or, you know, from my experience I've seen. Um, so, yeah, I've gone for the SG G400. Um, it's a good guitar, sounds fantastic, um, plays well. All the components on it are, are, are really good for the money, £250. So there's my list of uh, guitars. Um, I didn't put any Les Pauls in there, purely because they don't really come into the price point. They start getting, you know, they start around £300 for a decent one. You can get cheaper ones, but I just wouldn't recommend it. Um, they're not great. Um, you might notice that most of my guitars are strat shaped. Um, it's just the most comfortable shape if you're playing and you're starting out uh, you don't want some weird shape guitar uh, they're just not comfortable to play they may look cool and when you're standing up and, and you know you might see some people playing them and they look wicked but they're just not comfortable so recommend just getting a standard strat shape um, buying a guitar um, I always recommend your local guitar shop just be careful in your local guitar shop though because sometimes advice is not always correct um, I'm always popping into guitar shops wherever I am in the country uh, and I've heard lots of people talking a lot of rubbish um, about guitars uh, it's often they employ like young people uh, especially on the weekend uh, and they think that they know about guitars and half of the time they haven't got a clue um, saying that you get some guitar shops where that are really knowledgeable and fantastic and, and very helpful um, I live in Bedfordshire area in the UK uh, and there's a fantastic shop in Stevenage called Coda Music which I've been going to for years and years um, and they're really good in there other m noticeable shops um, that I've used GAK uh, G-A-K which is guitar amp and keyboard uh, they're great good service I've had from them uh, Digital Village they're all through the country uh, they've been very good um, Andertons, I haven't used Andertons uh, but I have watched loads of their videos on YouTube uh, and they seem like they're pretty clued up as well uh, and the other one is Toman um, which is Germany, the German company that I talked about for my budget guitar so the reason I've chosen these guitars is um, I teach hundreds of kids a week I teach 200-ish kids a week um, so I've seen hundreds and hundreds of starter guitars uh, lots of rubbish uh, and these are the ones that I've picked out as the ones that I thought were good value and they were good starter guitars. Thanks for watching. I hope you've found this useful. Uh, if you have, feel free to press the like button, press the subscribe button. Uh, if you've got any comments at all, anything that you think should be on the list, uh, shove it in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.